So you know what they just told me to do? They said, go out there and imagine everyone in the audience as if they are naked. So I'm up here imagining all of you without your clothes on, and you look great. I guess that's supposed to calm your nerves, but for me, it just sort of feels like it's time for me to grab my camera and start my work day. That's because I am a boudoir photographer. Now, boudoir is just a fancy French word that means a woman's bedroom. But running a boudoir photography studio means that I create artwork that celebrates the human body by taking pictures of people who are nude or partially nude. Now, you may have some strong feelings about nudity. In some situations, being naked is really nice. It can be pleasurable, exciting, or relaxing. But on the other hand, nudity can also be really horrifying. Nudity can be violating, traumatic, or even illegal. So love it or hate it, nudity is just not neutral. And precisely because nudity is not neutral, it carries great power. I believe that it is possible to harness the positive power of nudity. Going nude can be a catalyst for increased confidence and self-love. Going nude can be a way to find a type of courage and freedom that is difficult to access in any other way. Now, nudity is our most basic, natural, and original state. Every person here has a naked body. I'm not going to ask you to prove it to me right now, but you do. We all showed up in this world as a naked newborn. And yet, most adults spend very little time naked. Most of us avoid nudity. Why is nudity so uncomfortable for most of us? Well, clothes have some obvious benefits of warmth, safety, and protection, right? But there are other deeper reasons why most people say no to nudity. Nudity combines some of our deepest, most private fears about exposure and vulnerability. Many people never show their naked body even to their closest family members. Women who breastfeed often feel compelled to hide their bodies and their babies underneath of blankets. Some people even shy away from ever looking at their own naked body. And many of us view other people who engage in nude experiences as exhibitionists, dangerous people who don't understand social norms and have no morals. While this may not be true for all of you, many of us have a collective sense of fear and humiliation about the naked body and what it means. But what if we could create more contexts in our lives where nudity was positive? What if nudity could lead to joy, confidence, and acceptance? What if by removing our clothes, we could remove other barriers in our life? Let me tell you a story about Tazima, who tried out a nude experience. Like a lot of us, Tazima had some negative thoughts about her body. At the advice of a friend, she decided to try out a local Sento-style spa, which is a place where people bathe nude communally. Now, Sento spas are popular in many parts of Asia, but Tazima had never been to one. While Tazima was initially hesitant to be naked in front of a lot of people, her experience at the spa ended up being transformative for her. Here's what she had to say. I got to the spa, went to the locker room, took off my clothes, and then, oh, it really hit me. I was going to have to go out there and be naked in front of a lot of strangers. I panicked. I've never been openly nude like that before. But as I started bathing, my nervousness soon melted away. I looked around. I noticed that the idealized body that we see in magazines is exceptionally rare. I noticed the effect that gravity has on everybody's bodies. I realized something. I wasn't judging anyone else. I really had only been judging myself. Tazima's ex experience at the spa helped her to feel more energized about her life and helped her to feel less pressure to conform to unattainable beauty standards. Tazima now works full-time as a coach to help women feel more connected to their bodies and to their sexuality. Now, why was it so incredibly nerve-wracking for Tazima to try out a nude experience? 
We have inherited centuries of negativity about nudity from ancient Puritan and Victorian sources. Consider these three examples from history that may inform how we view nudity today. On the very, very first pages of the Bible, what do Adam and Eve do? They take leaves and cover their bodies and hide because they are afraid. In 1565, the Pope hired an artist to paint tiny little underpants onto many of Michelangelo's figures in the Sistine Chapel because the nudity was deemed inappropriate. And in the 17 and 1800s in England, something called bathing machines were popular. This was a little hut on wheels. And what you would do is you would get in the back fully clothed, and inside you would change into your bathing suit, and then someone would push you out into the water so that you could jump out the front and into the water and start swimming, all without anyone ever seeing you in your bathing suit in full broad daylight even though your bathing suit came down to your elbows and to your knees. Now, not all histories, cultures, and people are biased against nudity. Many celebrate nudity, but for a lot of us, a sense of fear and shame about nudity is a learned behavior that has been passed down to us for generations. I like to call it the taboo tax. The taboo tax is the social cost that someone might pay for challenging existing norms. In the case of nudity, you show some skin, you might pay the price. There is a reason, for example, that when I go to PTA meetings, I typically introduce myself as a portrait photographer and not as a boudoir photographer. I am fully aware that many people do not share my enthusiasm for nudity. The taboo tax may have prevented you from ever fully appreciating your new body or from trying out a nude experience. Or if you did try out a nude experience, the taboo tax may have meant that you told no one about it, even if you loved it. Or you may have imposed the taboo tax onto someone else by judging their choices, their photos, or their motives. But if you are willing to step outside of your comfort zone and confront this taboo, it is possible to find strength and expansiveness on the other side. Let me tell you another story about someone who tried out a nude experience. Sarah was a healthy, active mother to two young sons when she experienced a massive heart attack in the middle of the night. Alone in her bathroom, her heart suddenly stopped beating. Later in the emergency room, she was declared dead when she went into full cardiac arrest. Miraculously, Sarah is now back at work and caring for her family, but the road to recovery was not easy. Sarah endured many long hospital stays and more than a dozen invasive surgeries in order to save her life. On the one-year anniversary of her heart attack, Sarah chose to be with me in my boudoir photography studio because she wanted to take photos specifically to document and highlight her surgical scars. Here's what Sarah had to say about her nude experience. The scars up and down my torso mean everything to me. The scars mean that I am alive. Without the scars, I would be gone. The nude photos are a tangible reminder to me of the beauty that I can now see in those scars. The nude photo shoot helped me to love every single inch of my post-heart attack body. Now, I believe that every person can access the positive power of nudity. Going nude can teach you to value your body for what it can do and worry less about what other people think. Going nude can help you to worry less about what other people think and live your life more in line with your sense of self. Taking the relatively small risk of going nude can help you face bigger challenges in other areas of your life. Like Sarah and like Tazima, many people from all walks of life have shared with me the benefits that they have found from trying out a nude experience. Jordan told me about signing up for a figure drawing art class that hired nude models of many different sizes, shapes, and ages. 
Jordan told me that by studying and appreciating the diversity of bodies that he saw in that art class, that he was able to expand his thinking about what might be possible for his own life. A few months later, Jordan told me that he felt emboldened to take a leap of faith and start a new career overseas. And another man, David, told me about spending time at a nudist beach and how that helped him to overcome lifelong fears and anxieties that he had held about intimacy and attraction. He told me that seeing naked bodies at the nudist beach, and lots of them, helped to normalize nudity for David and helped him find more inner peace and balance. Now I'm up here talking about the positive power of nudity and you might be thinking, well, if being naked is oh so fabulous, why isn't she up there practicing what she preaches? <laughs> Maybe I should be up here in my birthday suit. N no. <laughs> the context of nudity still matters. Because nudity is not neutral, and because nudity carries great power, it's important to remember to create boundaries and communicate consent. Nudity should be experienced in designated consensual spaces. With that in mind, here are some activities that you could consider. Walk confidently from your shower to your bedroom without a towel on. Look at yourself in the mirror and say nice things to your naked body. Take a nude selfie just for yourself. Snuggle skin to skin with your infant. Have sex with the lights on. Sleep naked. Get a full body massage. Go skinny dipping in a private pool or find a safe place to be nude out in nature. See what a nude experience can do for you and where it can take you because the positive power of nudity is available to you. The only barrier is in your mind and your willingness to pay the taboo tax to get there. And then the next time you see someone else who's chosen to have a nude experience, maybe try to pause and rethink. Is it possible that that person, instead of being broken and socially unacceptable, maybe instead they are feeling the joy and freedom of their own body? Nudity doesn't have to be naughty and shameful. Nudity can be confidence-building, celebratory, empowering, beautiful, and joyful. I'll leave you with this. Whether you're someone who already enjoys nudity or someone who's been deeply uncomfortable for the last 12 minutes, <laughs> I invite you to consider new ways that you might embrace your own individuality through a purposeful, naked experience. Thank you.